Why hello, before we get started with the video, we might as well do a quick magic trick. So, we'll get a card selected, in this case it's going to be the Two of Diamonds, perfect. We'll leave that in the middle of the pack, we'll give the deck a few cuts, and a quick shuffle. This is a trusting relationship between me and the camera. You gotta keep it as fair as possible. Now to find that card again, all you gotta do is give it one more cut, and it actually rises from the middle of the pack, it finds itself all the way up above everything else. That should be the Two of Diamonds, and that really does come from the middle. No strings attached. <sighs> that would have been really cool. Let's get on with the video. I'm a little bit tired. I was literally just sitting here almost falling asleep trying to think of what to film, but I have an idea. So, welcome to day 51 of the 365 Days of Magic Challenge. Today, I don't know why I clap all the time. Today I thought we'd take a look at a few of my favorite street performers' performances that are available to watch on YouTube and give my thoughts to some of these shows that are incredible, you know, you can learn a lot from. I keep saying words and I can't think of actually what to say, so let's just dive in. But first, hydration. So for magician number one, I'm gonna be taking a look at Charlie Caper. This is actually a name and a person that I've only recently come across uh, yesterday, or the day before. And I basically just binge watched a ton of his stuff. I don't know how I haven't heard of Charlie before. And uh, it's incredible. His show is incredible. And there's some, a few really, really, really nice routines and moments in here. Um, it's like a full 20 a minute show. We're obviously not gonna watch the whole thing, but I'll skip through a little bit. Okay, so the show starts off with a lovely routine of his that is done to music, I believe, most of the time. There's a few other clips of it online, like from when he won Sweden's Got Talent. Welcome to Talang Charlie Caper, who is not just a trollkar, but a god artist. But just watch it, it's a piece of like art. It's great. <laughs> really quick and say that I believe this is how he starts his street show off. Uh, this is the only clip I can find of the very start of his street show, if this is it in case. Was that words? This is in fact it. There we go. If this is in fact the start of a street show, this is the only clip I can find. And it basically uses like everything he's got on, like his pocket watch, his bow tie, the like rose silk that he's got here, those kind of things to start a show. It looks really nice and we'll just continue watching it. Sorry, buddy in. It's so well timed to the music and everything, that vanish of that handkerchief. Also, this crowd that he's performing to is massive. Flipstick, beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh. time to the music as well, just superb, so well done. There's the stick finally. And the kicker, this is so good. That's right, that is in fact his bow tie that he was wearing at the very start, which like just, you know, brings that routine full circle, which is really nice. And I, I love watching that piece, that moment of his entire show. It hits every time, and uh, you know, you can go and watch other performances of it from like Sweden's Got Talent, and the bow tie disappearing and then coming back at the end is beautiful. 
Anyway, unfortunately, uh, none of these clips will be watching for the first time because I've actually watched all these performers before. That's why I know they're my favorite, but it still brings a smile on my face regardless. So there is another moment in this routine that I want to check out and then we'll move on. Oh, so he does a full bottle production routine during this street show. I'm not sure if that's a commonplace thing for his street show. He did say in this video that it is only like the second time he does it or something. I don't know if that's just scripting or if that is actually true. It's great to watch though. We'll watch it really quick. It'll be the second time I ever do it in the street. So it's even more exciting. So I will try to make this glass and this uh, bottle change places with each other magically. And to do that, I have to cover them with these two paper tubes. Uh, and uh, this is an extra bottle that I carry in case the other one breaks in the flight. So uh, just forget you saw that one. And, uh, and the music, please. If you have no idea what happened, the bottle and the glass changed places. It's not the best angle for this because it is side on, but you can still appreciate it. I will tie a little handkerchief around this bottle so you can follow it. Nice little convincer there. Um, I don't watch many bottle production routines. I think the only other one I've watched is like Dom Chambers when he produces all his beer. So I have no idea of the originality of this bottle production routine, but I very much enjoy Charlie Kay for doing it. I realize some of you might think there's more than one glass, but I put a little bit of a drink in it so you can follow it for the rest of the routine. switch places you just can't see it quite because of the angle but still <laughs> I don't know how many bottles you would normally produce during a bottle routine, but I was surprised when I first watched this at the amount of bottles that he kept producing. Now, I was expecting like six, and then it like keeps going and it keeps going. I'm not actually sure. It looks like there's six there. I think there's like eight or nine. I don't actually know though. This is a good scale of the crowd, by the way. Just, it goes like all the way around. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, and then the last thing I want to show you in Charlie's routine is his finale. I think we can start it here. So he goes through some normal cups and balls stuff, and then it gets really original and really, really good. Solid glass. That one looks better from the front. It's true. Okay, let's try this. Oh, the girl in the hat. Sure, can you help me out? A glass! A ball! You're going to love this one, Ava. If you didn't notice that, the ball disappears and reappears underneath the... Oh, oh so good. You're saying you saw how that was done? Okay, I will do it again. I will do it again. The ball will end up under the glass again. This time, no one will see it happen. Not even this kid. You have to sit down, otherwise people behind you can't see. But if anyone sees the ball go under the glass, then this entire show has been for free. They're not laughing now, are they? Do under the glass. Kids, you cannot stand up if you're in the front, right? 
but watch it closely. Look, the kids are like this. <laughs> you can see these kids over here. Me pointing at a screen isn't helpful. You can see these kids over here starting to stand up and like move really close and keep their eyes so much on that cup. It is such a good piece. <laughs> it's like it's a hundred yard dash. <laughs> it will end up under the glass. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> and by the way, kids, have you seen the tree up there? <laughs> a, no. uh, to make this even more difficult, the ball will vanish from under my hat. Check out the hat. So right now, Charlie is doing his hat line during his show, and I really like the line that is coming up in just a moment. Because, frankly, no, the show is worth uh, a couple of euros, or five, or ten. A cup of coffee in this town costs three euros thirty, and I am more entertaining than a cappuccino. I am more entertaining than a cappuccino. <laughs> and ladies, I laugh longer. And the following. Okay. From under the Such a good line. To under the glass. To make this even more difficult, I will use a blindfold made from tomorrow's newspaper. Now, I realize what I'm doing now, kids, looks a little bit like cheating to the untrained eye. Yeah, but don't worry, kids. You will not be disappointed. I have seen this before. Okay, Eva? Shut up with the music! Eva, are you ready? Yes, yes! Eva, will you be impressed if this works? Will you be so impressed as to give me a kiss on the cheek? It's a tradition in Sweden. Okay, from under the hat to under the glass. Hold one hand here. Perfect. The other hand there. Are you guys ready? That's exactly the energy I was looking for. Come on, people! Are you ready? Alright, the original plan for this video was to look at like a few of my favorite street performers, but we're just gonna look at Charlie Caper because that was a long enough video as it is, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. His show is incredible. You can go watch other stuff. I think he won Sweden's Got Talent at some point, and it is all phenomenal work. Uh, some of the most original stuff I've ever seen, in my opinion, and I will be making more of these videos looking at some of my other favorite street performers because there are a few really good really amazing street shows on YouTube that you can watch and uh, I like looking for them and finding them and studying them etc so we'll take a look at more in the future otherwise see you tomorrow guys for day what's tomorrow 52 yeah perfect nailed it bye